All right, what is up, everybody? Shadow Scout 0013 here reporting in um, with another video today, kind of going over the Shadow Collective and maybe some thoughts on it and kind of like what possibilities there could be with it and maybe what to get. Okay. So um, if you can go ahead and leave a comment on either what you're going to get, if you're going to get it, and or how many uh, of the Shadow Collective boxes you're going to get and or of you know each syndicate by itself um and then like this video and then if you can you know put it on facebook anything you can discord help people um maybe this is a little bit of information people you know, I don't know here yeah I don't know. but okay so we have news that the shadow collective is coming out to star wars legion and um it right now only includes the black sun uh and the Pikes, and then the, the Mandalorians, or the Maul DeLoreans, and then Maul, obviously. Um, you're going to be getting Rook. Um, you're going to be getting Gar Saxon in this. Well, not in the box, but you can get Gar Saxon also, uh, and you can obviously get more of the individualized um, units. Now, there's only, I think, two technical crime syndicates out of five here um i don't know if you know the the mandalorians would be considered a crime syndicate in star wars but the reason that they're involved was because you know in the clone wars you also have maul in there and i think it was just a huge hit and it everyone loves mandalorians as far as i know um and everyone who plays mandalorians pretty much love them i mean i think that there's a few things that could be different but for the most part, having the Mandalorian armor um, with the red saves and surging is by far absolutely great. And then they have a really good short uh, range gun um, and then a pretty decent melee. So um, I think they're great. Um, and I think that with this, there's going to be lots and lots of room to grow. So I think that it is going to be an awesome thing to start investing in probably now um, because you you've i'm gonna go in line but there's a lot more characters that they can include specifically for the shadow collective itself so that way there's a whole new faction that people can play um now most of you know hondo um i think hondo and the pirates will come into play at some point um for the shadow collective i think with maul working with hondo's pirates for an episode um could give it some leeway to actually come out with pirates and use the pirates for the shadow collective um hondo could be involved as a person in the shadow collective but not like you have to kind of bring pirates in order to bring hondo kind of thing maybe or you could just hire hondo like you're going to be able to do um like with the new cad bane the new boba and the new bosk maybe they can come out with a hondo that is like that like a mercenary um pirate that you could use and maybe he could come with you know some pirates himself um i don't know that's a whole possibility um you also have the dathomir or the dothomir witches i don't know if it's dathomir or dothomir i didn't look um but you have the witches who maul went to um and then in the clone wars they fought they weren't necessarily in the crime shadow collective in the part of the crime syndicate but if you ever wanted to maybe add another at least um wanted to add in the witches into legion i think the best way to do that is through the shadow collective with maul uh, obviously leading them um let's see and i think what else um whoop, i don't know what just happened well, well, I must have clicked some black accent. Oh, well. You also have um, Prime Minister Almec, who could also be um, a part of the Shadow Collective under Maul. And for the Mandalorians, because he, you know, helped with Maul. Um, and Maul used him. Now, I don't know if he was like the most regarded person, but you could definitely actually have a another kind of commander um, in the Shadow Collective um for you know darth maul and the mandalorians um 
one person who I have on here uh, you could is Jabba the Hutt and the Hutt clan. They could probably, you know, come out with some stuff. Um, that would be cool. I think I'll talk about that in a second. And then Savage. Obviously, you can get Darth Maul's brother um, in here. And I think that would be great um, to have another. Um, oh, my gosh. Why can't I think of what they're called? Um Wow, it's like right on the tip of my tongue and I can't, uh, oh well. Um, but yeah, you have another force wielder um, who could be physically strong, like super physically strong, probably uh, a little bit stronger than Maul physically, but force wise, probably not as strong as Maul would be. Um, so he, I mean, he obviously, he was much bigger than Maul, um, had more strength, so... Um, I think that he's going to be able to take more hits and he's probably going to be able to deal more melee damage than Maul in some ways, but um, he might not have the same kind, kind of like um, mastery that Maul has and or the force capabilities that Maul has. It's just kind of depending on that. Um, and then another one is the Crimson Dawn. Um they could totally put the Crimson Dawn into the Shadow Syndicate. Um, you also have the Black Sun, the Crimora Syndicate, the Hut Clan, which is what I was talking about a second ago. Uh, I think that they would be great. And then obviously you have the Pikes. Um, so those are your five syndicates. Um, and basically for the Shadow Collective, you could come out with a lot of these Merc um or mercenary class people and pirates and stuff like that um so um i think there's a lot that they can do um i think it would be somewhat of a um like a not so traditional i guess in the legion sense traditional uh it wouldn't be your normal kind of class these are all different crime lords crime things and you, they would probably play differently which, I mean, they are, obviously, um, because you have um, on AMG, or, man, what just happened? Did I uh, accidentally hit something? Okay, so, yeah. Um, so, out of here, let's see if I were to... Um, so, yeah, so, basically... You have the command cards, ploy, aggression, discretion, um, witch magic, his eminence, um, and seize what power we can, I think, are all basically um, these new kind of cards and how they're going to be able to play everything. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be you know, amazing. And then with the six unit cards... Um, Obviously, you're getting, you know, Maul, the Mandalorian Super Commandos, the Black Horn Enforcers, and then the commander for that, and the Pikes Soldier, and then the commander for that. So when you get, if you get two boxes, you're kind of, you know, only getting two foot soldiers, two captain, two commandos. So you're probably going to want to get, like, not only two boxes, but probably something else on top of that. Because um, I'm not sure how many capos or vigos you're going to be able to run. Um so, yeah, and if you're going to be able to use the A5, um, I think that that's going to be awesome. Um, let's see, the Essentials Kit, yeah, the, uh, the Battle Cards. Um, if you're going to get the, what was it, the um, Essentials Kit, that'd be great if, you know, you don't have any other faction that would be the best to get is the, you know, the little Introduction Kit. And then the Upgrade Pack 2, everyone, I assume, is going to need and get um you're gonna get the mercenary aa5 two of them um and then a boba fett updated bosk updated and a cad bane updated and i wouldn't say necessarily updated since they're going to be i think different um so i wouldn't i mean i guess updated but if they're going to be mercenary faction kind of or like you're gonna have they're not going to be your typical standard factional things i think it's a totally different card so not an update if we're going to get technical but that's me being completely insane um and then 60 upgrade cards i think everyone's gonna love this the um let's see what was it 
lead by example underworld connections would be great the up close and personal i feel like it's going to be awesome uh emergency emergency transponder might be something for um like a like another uh comms thing prepared supplies i have no idea sonic imploders could leave leave suppression since i don't think we have um a grenade that specifically leaves suppression um frenzy gunner is probably for the aa5 um a uh, raiding party leader sounds pretty awesome. Sounds like it's going to be kind of like you're getting getting scout or something like that. Um, integrated comms, we I think we have send you cables. All the rest of them, I think we have pretty much. Um, you're just getting multiple ones, which is awesome. And then the Mandalorian Super Commandos, three command cards for themselves. I see that's pretty freaking awesome. I think. And then a unit card, and then upgrade cards, and the Black Sun Enforcer. So if you're when you buy, I guess the regular. Man, you're going to be getting so many cards if you're buying two. If you're buying two starter boxes and then like a Mando Mandalorian commandos, you're getting like nine command cards of three ploy, three aggression, three discretion. So you're getting tons of cards. I'm sure people are going to be able to, you know, have some stuff to hand out. But uh, yeah. Um, I think these are going to be fun. I think it's going to be a really good um faction that people play. Um, I think I'm, I've already got the AA5 pretty much. And then, um, if you already have Boba Bosk or CAD, you're probably going to be able to, um, use them in the shadow collective. Like if you use the faction shadow collective by itself, um, if you bought two boxes, I guess you're getting technically four, six units. Let's see, two, four, yeah, it's six units and then six, well, four commander. And then two malls, well, one mall. So you get technically getting a lot of, of, of activations, kind of. Um, you're probably going to want another activation in there somehow, besides Gar Saxon, which will be another one, probably like another Mando um, unit, which I would, I mean, I'm partial to Mandos. And then um, you have your AA5. So you have about nine, 10 minimum activations um especially if you come out with using like boba cat or bosk so um yeah i think that this is going to be great the way that they're going to be played is going to be interesting um i'm still going to be partial to empire and rebels um, even though i really 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 love uh the republic and i really love uh, the clones um super super favorite like rex and all of them you know can't go wrong clone trooper 99 but uh, yeah, okay, so I will catch you guys on the next one. Um, I'll try to come out with some more information on some other stuff. I'll, um, you know, come out with some skirmish lists. If you guys have any factions you want me to go over, just leave a comment below of what you want me to kind of go over. And if there's anything else that you want me to kind of go over, you can. I'm going to try to come out with a uh, little, like, video of what I have and how I have them. Um, and yeah, so I'll catch you guys later, you know, stay cool, stay awesome. Keep watching these videos, keep commenting, liking all the above and all right. See you.